Hey guys, this is a great and easy upgrade. We are switching out a old jack on a trailer and this could be a manual jack or electric jack. This specifically is old and not working. All it does is it connects, you guys can see, there's only one wire that goes to your batteries and that's the positive. It gets the negative power from the chassis itself. Super easy, we're gonna take off these bolts, take the whole thing off. We will need to take most likely the foot off of it and just slide the new one on. It's as simple as that. Today, we do have a new jack with us and it should come with everything we need, including a fuse online with that one wire that goes to the battery. It does come, it looks like, with a manual tool. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. It should take me about 10 to 15 minutes to change it out. Okay, now this is how it looks after. So what we have here, we have again, the one wire that goes all the way to the battery. It already has a fuse on it. I just put a little eyelet on it. We put it on the positive. It does come with three new kind of washers that are to get the ground. So it's kind of to penetrate the paint and get the ground. And you guys can see light works. It works and it's a perfect, again, every trailer needs something a little bit different, but a 3,500 pound fits most travel trailers. And again, great upgrade to go from a hand crank or from an old electric one that doesn't work. And just one more tip before we go. So while you're replacing it, if your trailer is high enough and it's already on your scissor jacks, then it's perfectly fine. You can take it out and leave the scissor jacks and it will hold everything. On this trailer, I did need to put my extra jack in front to lift the trailer because the scissor jacks were so compressed to the ground. I had to make more clearance to put it in. But just another tip, hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe.